It's really usually difficult to find somebody that's qualified. Yeah, 20 bucks an hour. For a while, we had someone that was from Dennysville, or not Dennysville, beyond Dennysville. Um, where is the Triangle store? Pembroke. Well, I think I found a new yeah. one. A new job. <laughs> Have you ever done ACO work? <laughs> After the meeting, I'll talk to you about ACO work. Dustin, you don't look for another job, aren't you? No, God, no. But, but in the meantime... You know, oh, we definitely need something. Yeah. Okay. Right. So yeah. my motion is in, in, in the meantime, Ooh, motion to have John contact Kevin Nelson about being our canine control ordinance person. He's, he's animal control. Animal control. Not always so then right, people right. would then call 911 or the non-emergency number if they don't want to use the emergency number. Eight three zero eight. Maybe we could publicize that. Yeah. So I didn't know that number. Yeah. If you don't have an emergency, then you're not really supposed to use 911. 911 is the emergency number. Right. Because you're going to ask you. So if there's a dog, your neighbor's dog is barking, that's really not, a not an emergency and appropriate for 911. Right? Depends on how close to his, your window he is. That's right. <laughs> if I'm having a heart attack, 911 is tied up because someone's complaining about the dog, I'm not going to be happy. Right. Along with that motion, I we need to publicize this name. Publicize the number. number. <laughs> yeah. Well, we'll that's put fine. on the channel. Website. Whatever we have. We change it too often. Formerly known as Channel 60. Is it seven? seven? Okay, so we have a motion to hire Kevin for the rest of the year. Well, I'm hiring a contract. Or a contract. Do we decide how we're going to go with it? We're going to go with the start bit or are we going to go with the. Uh, I think we should go with the, uh, hourly. the hourly rate until the end of the, the, end of the year. I can't see how you can go with the space. Right. 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 Yeah. right. I will second your motion. Thank you. All in favor? Welcome. <laughs> okay. Um, we talked about uh, discussing dates for the upcoming budget season. We all know it's that time of year. Um, we discuss uh, the Wednesdays part of the selectmen's meetings. Do we have a compendium of those dates that we can read on? Compendium. Okay. The following dates, we'll have budget committee meetings. February 13th at 5.30 p.m. here at the town office. Is that one's for selectmen only? That's selectmen only. You can come and watch. But that's it. Okay. We encourage that. Okay. And the next one is March 13th at 5.30, which is the whole committee. And then March 27th at 5.30. Again, it's the entire budget committee. Followed up by April 10th and 24th, both at 5.30. In May 8th and May 22nd at 5:30. Right. Mm -hmm. And if we manage to finish before then, we will notify everyone of the cancellation. And the last one that the selectman has is for selectman only, and that's one of the personnel, so that one is not open. To right, it's not open to the public. Even so I would for say probably May. Viewing. Because it would be open to the public. Right. We will announce it further closer to May, so that way no one makes an unnecessary trip down. And then one of those will be notified the third party of the course will let them know what night that was going to be right off. And please come and participate. Yes. Make yes. your voice heard. If a lot of you are not aware, Governor LePage has some ideas and proposals which will definitely affect our budget. And the school's budget. And the school's budget. Everyone's budget. Which in turn affects the town's budget. Mm -hmm. Um, the members of the budget committee will all be notified by a letter yeah. of the dates. We'll send a letter out to the selectmen of the budget committee, the school board, and that's going to work. Okay. And if you have emails, you can email it as well. In addition to the regular letter for sure. And the budget committee is the budget committee for both, for the school and the town. They're elected by the town's folks, and they're supposed to participate in both budgets, school and town. Okay, uh, the last time I met, um, we talked about putting a letter in uh, Bruce Green's file uh, for uh, his achievement, or his achievement of uh, completing the wastewater treatment plant operator course and the grade two operator. Um, 
Yeah. So it was mentioned that the selectmen wanted to sign one. Yep, we already motioned it last week. Yeah, so. yeah, we did. All I have to do is sign. You guys want to look at it Don't give it to Sarah. Right. You'll find the typo or something. Font size. I already have a note, John, for you to email the letters to me before these are printed. Mm. Well, the gun side? We're only signing one copy. Yeah, please only sign the one, one that's coming this way. Yeah. Sign them all if you want, but we'll be in here. <laughs> and thank you, Bruce. Your dedication is appreciated. Yes, it is. And he was here at our last meeting. Yes, he was. It's not an easy thing to run the place and the time to further your education. And looking at the textbook that he had, it was quite a quite a bit to it. We do. Yeah. No, I need to come and look at the budget there. Oh, okay. We'll provide you with copies. Yeah. I know exactly what they're here. Next item on the agenda. Next item is uh, public comment. One, excuse oh. me, one other item. Committee updates. Committee updates. I don't have that. I don't know. <laughs> no, no, no. What'd you do? Lose your... Right that's not the... That's, the that's yeah. after public comment, isn't it? Okay. But it's still there. Okay. Um, just to let the selectmen know, the uh, CDBG Grant Committee and the Town Improvement um, we were able to get with Betty Case, and uh, she brought in copies of the town charter. Uh, those were not in committee members. The committee members that weren't available that evening got them sent by email. And we are beginning to take a look at the town charter, um, to read it. And um, Betty uh, has gone over with the committee the process that it takes to update a charter, uh, everything that it entails, and just to let them know that that's going to be an ongoing an ongoing project. Okay. Ready? No I want to roll the stuff that I give you earlier about the uh, legislature. Oh. Okay. Yeah. All the report that came in on a weekly basis yeah. from, the board, from the office. Mm -hmm. And if the public wants to know what laws are out there that we're dealing with, they're more than welcome to come in and look at this book as well. And I print those off weekly. So, And in two weeks, I think we're up to... <laughs> they, they've been busy with some crazy stuff. Ninety two, I take that back. So and in two weeks. So yeah. So I do one of those weekly and we also have uh, bulletins that help us understand the budget that they're trying to do to help us legislature put the bulletin. Yeah. And those and are as well. Too. And they're available if you want to come and look at them. And that's what we're dealing with when we're dealing with the budget and it helps us with the process. And could you briefly talk about um, preservation of town records? Sure. Um, 1995, 1996 was the last time that the town preserved any of their records. Our records go back to 1811. Um, they preserved the vital records from 1811 to 1891 in that two-year time frame. We really need to be looking at our town records, which we our original town meetings and things like that. The binders are getting really bad. They're leather-bound. They're coming oh, apart. <laughs> They're coming apart, and the paper is very brittle in some cases, and the ink is fading. So we really need to do something with that. Um, when people are coming in and they're asking for information, we're constantly going through those books, going back to find out what happened years ago. Mm. So we really need to preserve the records. If we do that, they'll also put it on the disk so that we'll have it in the office that will save us from going through that. But they'll also put it on um, 
film that we can take it off site to save it so that God forbid anything happened to this building and they were ruined, we would have that information off site. Oh, yeah. Okay. Their price that was quoted to get that done was well, 28500 The vault these records are kept in are supposedly fireproof. Um, they are to a certain point. Right. Yeah, but temperature, but it's not humidity yeah. controlled. No, it yeah. isn't. And that's one of the big, big problems with those kind of older papers. Yeah. They weren't acid free, so they just sit there slowly going to pieces. And the, the mm. ink is fading out, and sure. it's getting harder and harder to read them. Mm. And this isn't all the documents. This, um, the current ones for vitals, I've been putting them in plastic sleeves as they come in anyways to preserve those. Some of the older ones I went back in the mid to late 60s, started all those, and I put those all in plastic sleeves and put them in binders as well. But it's a record prior to that. Another thing I want to do is go back and do an annual town meetings and special town meetings and things like that and start taking, because I type them up on this, 